Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to be working with the Visual Basic environment in Excel, specifically with a user form. And what I'm going to be showing in this video is how to draw a user form that does not have a title or a caption bar. And once we do this though, and your user form is created, you're going to need to create some method for your form to move since it won't have a title bar anymore. So this is going to be a two-part video. Part one, I'll be showing how to create a user form that won't have a title bar. In part two, I'll show how to move the user form just by either holding on to maybe a label that you create or if they click anywhere in the user form and they hold the mouse down, then the form will move. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my Visual Basic environment already set up. If yours is not opened up, just go to your Developers tab and select Visual Basic and go on and draw your user form or insert it. I'm going to go on and do my insert user form. So here I'll have my user form. I'm going to double click it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to toggle to my notepad window. That way you can see my full screen of the code that I'll be using. I've already put some code together and the code that I'm using is going to be pretty much all API. And if you're new to Windows API programming, then I mean, I would highly recommend looking at my channel. I do have a video playlist created for an introduction to Windows API and that's what we'll be using in this video. These are the procedures or functions that I'll be using, the API functions. Now, if you noticed, like you ha you may already have this code set up, maybe in a base file or a module, and yours may not say P2 PTR safe. PTR safe is necessary on a 64-bit system. If your system is not 64-bit, just take off the PTR safe, and it will just be like, private declare function window and then of course the rest of the API statement but in this case mine is a 64-bit version of Windows so I'll have to have the PTR safe attribute added in there this is what I'm going to go on and paste into my user form to the at the very top so right now I'm in the user form and remember I double click my user form to get to the user form click I'm just gonna scroll all the way to the top if you had code already in your user form, you want to scroll all the way to the very, very top of your code, the beginning of the user form code, and just paste the API statements there. The API statements that we're using is find window, get window long, set window long, and draw menu bar. And we're using one constant, the get window long style, negative 16. This is a code that's just set by MSDN. Now what we're going to do is and user form initialize we're going to add this code and i'm going to copy and paste all this code into the comments on youtube let me go to my user form and i'm going to select initialize and this is where i'll paste the code so all we're doing is we're declare, declaring a variable dim frm as long the first thing that we do is we look for the window handle and Again, looking back at the Windows API playlist that I created on YouTube, you'll have a better understanding of what this is doing. But W handle, we're just getting the window handle, and we're using the find window feature to do that. We're not looking by the class name, we're only looking for the user form caption. Even though we're taking out the title bar, your user form is still going to have a caption, so just keep a caption on there. In this case, right now, mine is set at, at as user form one, and that's all this is is getting your current username that caption. Not the username. Uh, uh, let me repeat that. Me dot caption is getting the the title of this specific user form. And then the next thing we need to do is get the window long, as in the position of the window. We're getting that by the window handle, and we're getting the g the get window long style. Then you're going to use set window long to set this window handle, the window handle of your user form, to the GWL style negative sixteen. And then all we need to do is redraw the handle. So this period right here, this specific line, is the line that removes the title bar. But once we remove it, we need to redraw the window. So if I hit F5, you'll see that now our user form does not have any kind of title bar. And the only way to close it out, you have to hit Alt F4 when you're on the actual ap application. Now later on once you are complete with this project you'll want to create like a maybe an x either a command button or like a label to where when they hit it you close the application 
but let's just say that I was not to put the set window longer. I just want to give this demonstration and you just put draw menu bar W handle. All this does again is redraw the window, but there's not going to be nothing to redraw because we're not making any changes to the window. So if I hit F5, we still have our, our title bar. So again, the set window long line is, is the one that's setting the window style to have to not have a title bar. That completes this video and in the next video I'm going to show you how you can move this user form around and there are two methods to doing it. You, we can do an API method or just looking at the mouse position. In this case I'm not going to be discussing the Windows API method. I'll be discussing the, the simpler approach. In this case that's going to be the, the mouse move.